This video is sponsored by KiwiCo. Hello the internet, I'm Gav. In this video, we're gonna be recreating a viral TikTok that a lot of you have very kindly sent me, I uh, thank you, of an apple being levitated on a jet of compressed air. Due to a phenomenon called the Coanda effect, it should just stay exactly in place on the compressed air until eventually it goes a little bit too fast for itself and pops. Sounds like an excellent subject for the Phantom. So why don't we give it a go? There certainly seems to be some technique to it. This is a 150 PSI compressor, but it seems to be less about the power and more about the slow build to keep it stable. Because if I end up just flooring it, it bounces up and down like this and loses speed. It's all about sort of getting it right on the edge and then you can hear it revving up. It's actually the sound is the only indication I have that I know I'm doing it right. And then eventually the sound goes high enough and you just gotta clench and hope for the best. So this apple is able to perfectly defy gravity. As the jet of air bounces off one side of the apple, it creates an area of low pressure between the air and the curved surface. This area of low pressure effectively pulls in the airflow, allowing it to follow the curve of the apple. At this point, as the curved surface of the apple is putting a force on the air, the air exerts an equal and opposite force upward on the apple. And that's why it's able to perfectly float in place. This effect only works on objects with a curved surface, so if this was a mutated cube apple, it wouldn't work at all. It's pretty crazy. To my eye, when I'm looking at it, I'm just looking at a blur, and then like one frame of my eyes later, it's gone. It's like someone's just edited out a moment of my life there. It's so fast. Bloody hell, look at the RPM on that thing. is bacon. Well, this camera's not fast enough. <laughs> that is rapid. It's, it's moving fast in slow motion. <sighs> I need to call Alabama. All right, it's been a few days and Destin has come through with his 2511. We now have access to 28,000 frames a second at 720p, which should be a lot better for seeing the rotation and potentially seeing where the crack starts. Make sure you subscribe to Smarter Every Day because he's always helping me out. Just gonna do a bit of apple art on some of these so we can better track the rotation. Damn it! It's amazing, wow. You can actually see the skin of the apple ripping in this, at this speed. That one gave me a rollicking on the hand. If I wasn't wearing gloves, that one, that one would really hurt, I think. Okay, so now we can roughly estimate how fast the apple was spinning by timing how long it takes 
for this line to come back around to the arrow. This was the final rotation of the apple and based on the sound it was making and the fact that it exploded, I'm gonna assume this was the fastest rotation as well. One full rotation in 9.1 milliseconds, that's 109 rotations per second, which reveals the apple's nope speed to be 6,565 RPM. <laughs> That was something, that was some very sweaty, very loud and slightly terrifying work. But I do think we got some lovely looking footage there, especially with the 2511. We saw a lot more that we didn't see at a thousand frames a second, like the skin ripping, almost as though the inside of the apple is already split and the skin is just the final thing to give way. Absolutely mental. And I think I do now have to invest in some sort of long handled mop to uh, clean the ceiling <laughs> and the walls. <laughs> Made a right mess in this one. I think it was worth it though. I think it was worth seeing. I've never seen it that slow. Now I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, KiwiCo. KiwiCo is a wonderful service encouraging kids to learn from home. Each box contains an engaging and fun project or toy to construct. Here you can enjoy footage of me constructing this glowing pendulum. KiwiCo offers eight subscription lines, each catering to different age groups and topics, and every box contains everything you'll need for the project so no need for any extra journeys to the store. KiwiCo is also a fantastic option for a holiday gift. Every completed KiwiCo crate is an opportunity to inspire a lifetime of curiosity and learning, and they're great for the family to do together. If you would like to support the Slow Mo Guys channel, make sure you check out kiwico.com slash guys. At that link, you'll be able to get your first month of KiwiCo for free. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the footage you saw and you're interested in slow-mo in general, make sure you subscribe. We've got new merch and that's about it. I'll see you in the next video.